Welcome to Out of the Box Podcast The number one podcast That the industry never knew they needed Shout out to Sakita <laughs> You know what I mean That's not what she say But I want to thank y'all for subscribing Commenting And always showing us love in here We about to bring you some news up to date Especially with a lot of like People in the entertainment industry Dating people young we? You feel me? So, let's get into it. So, one of the most craziest things is I remember Shakita sent me a DM about that was something on the shade room. And it was a singer. Damn, what the fuck the singer Marcus man? Houston. Marcus Houston. And he was basically dating this girl that she's like 21, 19, and he like 40. Right? Yeah. Now, the thing is I want to get into... Why do powerful rich men or entertainers like them young, itty bitty women? What do you think the reason is, Shakita? I think it's the same reason that most older men like younger women. <laughs> what do you think that? Do you think they make them feel younger? I think it makes them feel younger. I think it makes them feel alive again. And then also think about it. Like, that's an ego boost. It got to be an ego booster, too, at the same time. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm in my 40s, and I'm bagging the young the young baddie. What? Yeah. But it's probably a, it got to be a mean ego booster. It, I think it is. Think about when you with your older, your you and your old-ass 40-year-old friends. And you got, they all dating girls in their time, in their age group. And you got the twenty year old. No shade to y'all forty year old man. I ain't saying y'all old, but <laughs> I'm just saying. See, I just disagree because that twenty year old girl. Let's say you have a deep conversation. Be like, yeah, you know, um, I basically got my credit score to basically eight fifty or something like that. The, the girl in the twenties be like, what's the credit score? How do I boost it up? I don't know. Okay, or you could be like. Talking to your friends about investment, unless you with them hood niggas that be like, "Yo, we trying to like sell some drugs, do some packs." You see, see what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but I, I don't think that's the case in this day and time. You got to look at the generation now; they're a lot more progressive than the people, like some of the people that's in our age group when we was at in our twenties. They have so much access to so much information that they kind of are already starting to own houses, businesses, they entrepreneurs. Like they really like them young them young ones right now, they coming up. I would say it's like the ones that are doing that is basically a select fee, right? And so let's say for instance, the ones that's on YouTube that are nineteen or twenty, right? At mm-hmm. the end of the day it's like one of the main things that make them different than all the other people that's out here, right? That's like not into YouTube or not having uh, doing drop shipping or have these kind of businesses. They're basically learning from a lot of their mistakes. They're fucking up. You feel what I'm saying? Because no matter how much information that you basically look up on this stuff about how to basically buy a house, how to basically improve your credit and stuff like that. A lot of these things for the young kids are basically by mistakes unless their parents told them at the like beginning. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I feel like when it comes to these young people, when you date them, I understand like the body is like right. They look amazingly beautiful, everything like that. But it's just like, how do you have that conversation of deepness? Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know. Yeah. How can you relate to each yeah. other? Yeah. You know, I'm 33 years old, right? And I remember a girl made me feel old as fuck. So I was just telling <laughs> her like this, right? You know how you remember my name? I, you know, that's a joke I used to say when I talked to someone. Be like, yeah, that's how you remember it. You were like, it's Jerome in the house. And I said, Jerome in the house. She was like, what is that? <laughs> and I'm like, you never seen Martin? What is Martin? What? And I'm like, damn. That's crazy. Yeah, they don't know what Martin is. They never seen a Jamie Foxx show. They they barely remember the Bill Cosby show. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And I understand the Cosby show because it was like in the eighties, but still, damn. You feel what I mean? And it's like mm-hmm. all these things that we can relate to, they don't really know about. You know what I'm saying? Let's say for instance, right? Like just imagine certain songs that you basically love back in the day. Like let's say for instance, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's different because I feel like, oh, okay, if people didn't hear three, because honestly, tell you the truth, 
Thriller really, really wasn't even in our time. You feel what I'm saying? It wasn't. But it was so amazing that I me, mean, our parents passed it on. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So these kids don't know this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you can have a conversation about something that you did back in the day. They're like, oh, what is that? Like, imagine, right? Let's say you was like, okay, I'm going out in a dating world. You know, you 30 something, right? Mm-hmm. And now you'd be like, yeah, I used to buy CDs. They'd be like, what the fuck is a CD? How did you put it in? I don't think, I feel you, but I don't think that's as bad. I think it would kill me more if it's something like that. I feel like you should know. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can expect for somebody in their 20s to be like, like, what is CDs? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that's, but that's not their fault. But I think it's like when you can't have those intellectual conversations. Like, I think that's what you mean along the lines of like we talking about stuff like business or life like and they haven't even experienced life enough. So they can't even relate to the conversation. I feel like in that scenario, but certain stuff. But even that, like the reason why I basically bring that up, because those situations maybe shape you to be who you are. Right. So let's say you're leading on to basically to be something like uh, in a deep conversation. You're like, you know what? The reason why I became a entrepreneur is maybe off of like 50 Cent, right? Listen okay. to his music. Get Rich or Die Trying. Mm-hmm. The, our first would be like, get Rich or Die Trying. You talking about the nigga that acted in movies? 50 Cent? You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Or it could be something like Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to listen to his song and see his shows. They'd be like. Mm-hmm. The person that acted in Hitchcock, you feel what I'm saying? So that's mm-hmm. the reason why I give that perspective because it's like okay, with the um, but you know, but don't get me wrong, I think I agree with you in certain things. I don't think men look at that like you know, damn, you got this young woman. They probably like, yeah, she bad. But when they try to have this conversation, they go like, damn, that's crazy. Because I remember I had a girl that I used to talk to, and when you talk to her, you're like, hmm, like what the fuck is wrong in there? Like what's in her head right now? It's like it was like no brain there. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And that's how the situation. But, you know, I, I think the thing that makes it creepier when it comes to Marcus Houston thing is that mm-hmm. he was kind of grooming her, like, at 17, 16, but they say. Yeah, you know I mean? that's kind of crazy, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I I never understood a nigga that doesn't do that. Be like, you know what? When this girl turned, like, seven, like, when she turned 18, ooh, I'm, I'm going to start crazy. talking. You yeah, know, it's kind of like predator life, straight up. Yeah, then you you got some niggas that like like let's think about certain celebrity girls that like were sixteen or fifteen when they came up with his kids, but when they turned eighteen, they was like, ooh yeah, like uh, what's that name? Bad body, what's name? Bad body or something like that. Bad baby. Bad baby, whatever her name is. It's like when you think about that, right? When she turned eighteen, niggas was like, oh, oh yes, damn. Let me get the lotion out. You feel what I'm saying? Like oh, only That's fans. weird. Yeah, but you know, people be like that though. I mean, I th- I think some women be like that too, mm-hmm. like because you know, I, I see a lot of cases of uh, a lot of women, basically, especially high school teachers, middle school teachers. I've been s- I've been seeing a lot of that lately. Yeah, it's crazy, and it be like, damn, they want that young thing. You feel what I mean? But I, you know what's so crazy is that mm-hmm. what do you think that? Why do you think that? Women that do that get less time. They get a slap on the rest of niggas when they do that. They be like, okay, you can get this jail time. You think it's fair? I mean, it's it's probably not fair, honestly. If we being real about it, it's not fair. But at the same time, when you look at it from a women's perspective, I mean, from the woman's side of thing. Them young boys be coming at them women. Like, you know what I'm saying? To me, and I hope I... Don't cancel me for saying this. But, like, I know high school boys that hit on women. Like, yeah, the women so say no. But at the same time, like, he threw the dick at her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, to me, sometimes, I understand them getting mad at mad like hey the woman is taking advantage things like that but they don't realize what these young boys be doing they be flirting with the teacher they be ready to dick the teacher down you get what i'm saying and then and look look asia or shaniqua or you know lexus is probably shaking her ass in class and fucking johnny the teacher has a great house at home 
And he's like, wow, look at them ham hocks in the back, right? At the end of the day, you feel what I'm saying? Women do the same thing. She'd be like, oh, let me drop this pencil. Oh, my God, let me bend down here. You think that's and more, you think is, I guess, I think it's easy for men to manipulate women. What younger girls than it is for women to manipulate younger boys? I don't know. because I feel like at a young age, like boys, y'all are already taught to like start having sex at a young young age. Like y'all are already starting to be groomed. People are people are already telling you like this is what y'all supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So y'all always look towards the older women. To probably put y'all on game. You get what I'm saying? So I think that's one thing about it too. I don't think that's like, I don't think young girls are really taught that. Like, you get what I'm saying? As much as young boys are. Well, um, I'm not a pedophile. So at the end of the day, it's like it's hard <laughs> to answer those questions. Uh, you know, I, I think it's, it, it, just, it is crazy because, I mean, I mean, I knew some school teachers that basically messed with some high school uh, teachers. They're in jail now. So in the day, you know, what I mean, like, you know, you're like, oh, wow, you didn't say anything. You ain't, gonna jail. you ain't gonna tell us who they and, are. Yeah, I don't really remember the names anyway. I probably would, though. It's crazy. Now, it's funny is one dude that I knew about um, that I knew from like uh, high school just recently. He's messing with this young girl. You know what I'm saying? Like somewhere in the Woodbridge area. Don't remember mm. his name, but you know it was crazy. I was like, "Wow, you know." I was like, "You want no ugly nigga?" So I never understood. I feel like the niggas that will do that, you would think like they'll be this hideous. I yeah. can't get no kind of girl or something like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's all I can get, so I get this now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But nah, you, you it's like you got people that basically just love that shit. They love that like yeah. young age shit. It's you know weird. what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. You know, I think. And when I date someone, I think the youngest I would do, probably, if I'm if I'm basically on a um, nothing less than twenty two or twenty three, you know what I'm saying? I feel like anything less than that is crazy. You feel what I'm saying? How old are you now? Thirty three. Okay, so you'll date somebody ten years younger than you? Yeah, you know, I think that'd be cool. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, it's like how you said. Show me a different kind of perspective. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, tell me what they used to grew up on. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about like, because like the thing is, is that like, there are some benefits to younger people, right? Because the thing is, is that mm-hmm. they know about social media. They know about how to maneuver in this digital world right now more than pi I. You feel what I'm saying? They're like, oh wow, I can I can get used to this. You know, I like this, and also too. You know what I'm saying? The music that they put you on to. You feel what I'm saying? Like, damn, this shit sound all right. You feel what I'm saying? Because, like, I feel like as an older person, sometimes you basically be trying to navigate through music and you be like, damn, this shit sucks. Like, Ice Spice. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all you be seeing on TikTok. When you go on TikTok, that's all you see. But, you know, the baby's like, yo, check this out. Listen to this. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you basically were single, what would be your, like, like age? Range or what you would date? Don't get mad at me, but I don't like young boys like that. You would date a fifty nigga video. You'll be like a uh, young Miami. Um, I don't know if that fifty year old man, if he looked good, he kept himself together. I don't know. Maybe I've never thought about it, but maybe. So, what will be like the the stopping range of age? I seen a girl post, and she was like, the stop and rage. She was like, maybe like 25. And she said, the the the, the latest that she would date would be like 47. Mm. I think right now, dang, I, I feel so bad. I really don't even like dating nobody younger than me. So I barely want to date somebody who's... Seven. I, I'm 31 right now, so I'm, I barely want to date somebody that's 30 years old. You you feel me? But um, I say maybe 30 to 32, maybe nigga, that's like to 45. Year. I was about to say. 30 to 45. I was like, nigga, that's just one year <laughs> older than you, nigga. You was like, that's all I do. That's it. Done. 30 to 45, maybe. That's it. Like, I, I mean, that's where I'm saying right now. Yeah. I, I think I date someone older. You know what I'm saying? I honestly, 
50 could be all right. You know what I'm saying? There are some already 50. Like 50. That's now, what I'm saying. If 50, they look all right, they kept their stuff together. Because 50 shoot. now. 50 now doesn't seem old as like 50 back in the day when we grew up. You know No what I'm facts. It's, it's just different. <laughs> I think people in their 50s now look a lot younger than the people who yeah. were 50 when we were coming up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can't tell me that Diddy look 50. I would never think. Yeah, that. nah, he don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, and let's uh, let's look at other people too that's coming up. Like, um, is Nia Long? Is she almost in her fifties? Yeah, is she I think already she's fifty? She's far that. See, Nia Nia Long is bad. You know what I mean? I tell you, as someone that's even older, and I'm thinking that she's amazing. I would basically, I would go on one knee, drink her bath water, and everything. Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. I knew you was gonna say that. Angela Bassett yeah. is everything. Yeah. And I think a girl named Tasha Smith, she's back. Oh, yeah, she looks good, too. You feel me? Like, uh, she's good. Oh, and there's a one girl that I, I think her name is Kendra or something. Like, she was on, like, the like Atlanta Housewives or something like that. I think she's amazing. Or mm-hmm. any, or, I mean, honestly, it's a, gr- it's a good group of 50-year-old women who look good. And, you know, with my, my top one that I would be like, I would lose everything for you, Candy. I think that's her name. The one that's on Escape? Uh, yeah. That's her name, Candy, right? She yeah. definitely in the age bracket. I know Yeah, that. she is. J-Lo. J-Lo, 53. Yeah. 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 I, but I'm just saying, like, these these are women. They look good. Like. No, nah, facts. J-Lo. They look a, good. J-Lo is a. I don't know. I just feel like J-Lo is a different kind of breed of just. I don't know what it is. It's like something just. Something going Tracy? on. Tracy? Ain't it Tracy Ella Ross? Am I saying her name right? Diana Ross' daughter? Yeah, I mean... She is amazing. She looked bad. I'll, I'll tell you like this. I would say that she just never really aged. For real, for real. That's what I'm saying. But, you know... I, 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 I can... I can... I can... Yeah. Tracy Ellis Ross? I oh, my good goodness. Person. I think that she's good. Her, her body, her figure, everything is amazing. Yeah. Trina. Mm. Oh, yeah. Trina. Wait, now, how Trina. old is Trina? Trina's like like late forties. Man, I'm telling you, the girls in their forties. You know what I'm saying? Trina late forties. You know what I'm saying? I think even little Wayne's baby mama, like, oh God. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just going going on this rent like on Yeah. Rent but you know, at the end of the day, I feel like nowadays age is not as a crazy how it used to be. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I think that, you know, I could date young. I could date older. I would probably rather do older just due to the fact that, like, I want someone to stimulate my mind more than just something of sexual pleasure. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's like, to me, right? And I think, not even to me, just to all humans. You know, sometimes at the end of the day, when you're with your partner, sex get boring sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? Especially when you're with them a long time, right? Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, it's like, you want someone to basically talk to and to basically try to figure out things, you know, maybe you might have some problem. Maybe you have a business or something. You'd be like, you know, what is a, a way that I can basically do another marketing strategy? Stuff like that, you know, just something simple. Or just at the end of the day, you just had a thought and you were like, damn, you know, I would love to basically talk about this. What do you think about this? Whereas someone that's younger, you're not going to have that perspective. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not knocking anyone that basically date younger. Unless you're a pedophile. Yes, fuck that. But other than that, you know, I think there's there's no really like big issue. But at the end of the day, I think we'll wrap this thing up. You got anything else to say when it comes to this like uh young boy shit? Young boy, young girl shit. Don't be a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so funny, right? I, what would you do with catch a pedophile? Like, you know, remember that show Catch a Predator? No. So you never remember the dude to be like, I'm Chris Hatton. Well, for me, I didn't watch a lot of TV like that. Like, honestly, I don't. So I probably don't know what you're talking about, for real, for real. Mm. My idea of watching TV is like, oh, let a Marvel movie or something like that come out. Or, 
um, let me watch like this behind the music or the making of. Like I like stuff like that. But other than that, I don't watch too much TV. So hold on. So you never really watched TV when you was a kid or something like that? Like this. Like when I was like growing up and I was watching TV, I'm telling you, like I was like into like Marvel movies and into like documentary was, type of like the making of was coming out what well, biographies what what marvel movie say a marvel movie what only one we have a spider-man nigga Sp- so I, was yeah. say <laughs> I was gonna say spider-man you you, you had to tell me how to mess. you ain't even let me get it out you knew i was about to say that too no nah, but like i just like stuff like spider-man not only that but i was watching like stuff like dc um i watched all the batman movies like you know you remember they had george um clooney as batman and one of them like i was watching all the batman joints so that's what i mean like i like stuff like that like action um greek type of stuff i was into like sailor moon like i was um say one name of one of the women that's on sailor moon what there was a group of them yes it was all the planets what you mean it was all the planets yes dummy (laughs) <laughs> you ain't know that I don't know hey, If you Yeah Sailor Moon Sailor Venus Sailor Mars Sailor Mercury <laughs> What Sailor Jupiter Like That's what it was That's crazy Now he about to look this shit up That's wild Let's see Look it up Pluto Who's Tuxedo Mask That's her uh, husband Nigga calm down No it's not Don't It is lie, That's Sailor Moon's husband Who's Luna The cat why you did watch it? I told you, nigga. I don't. I don't say shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? I told you, I did not watch a whole lot of TV. Yeah, that's wild. But hey, yeah, okay. But that was one of the shows I never watched. But yeah, at the end of the day, I want to thank y'all for like uh, tuning in, watching the episodes. We do really appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe, like, and thank y'all for tuning in again for Out of the Box Podcast, baby.